Hi, it's Jen and welcome to my channel and I believe that neuroscience is an undervalued and underestimated tool for self-help. So I want to bring that tool to you and to teach you the neuroscience that can help you help yourself. In today's video, I will be sharing the neuroscience behind visualization. You might know the study where there was three groups of basketball players. The first group practiced free throws, just trying to throw it in the hoop and seeing if they could make it. The second group visualized throwing it in the hoop and they visualized themselves getting it every single time. And the last group didn't practice and didn't visualize. Now, the group that visualized actually did better than the group that practiced doing the physical throwing. So you, if you've heard that study, you already know that visualization is a powerful technique and that it works. But I feel like people aren't talking enough about how it's working in the brain. Because for me, when I understand how something works in the brain, I believe it more, I trust it more, and I'm more willing to actually do the practice. That may just be me, but I wanna start sharing the neuroscience with you in case it does help you believe in the practice more and actually follow through on the practice. So here's this little printout of some basic lobes of the brain. And the visualization starts in the occipital lobe in, in your visual cortex. And let's like, let's do this as a practice. So let's say you have a short term goal, something that you can achieve in 30 days. Really imagine this happening. Write it out in detail, write out how it's gonna feel, how it's gonna smell, use all of the senses, and this will help a visual, like your visualization to really form in your visual cortex. As you have this image really form in your visual cortex, it's going to start to affect your parietal lobe, that's this yellow. So that's like here and here, um, on both sides of your brain, in this like upper region. And this region is your parietal lobe takes care of your sense of self, who you are, where you are in space, but also how you view yourself in the world, emotionally and physically. And as your sense of self begins to change, your thoughts and your actions will change. And this takes place in the left prefrontal cortex. So this is up here on the frontal lobe or right here. Now, I want you to, as you do these processes, as you have the visualization in your visual cortex, as you feel your sense of self change in the parietal lobes, and as you feel your thoughts and actions change in your prefrontal, left prefrontal cortex, I want to, you to think about them happening in those areas. When you're visualizing, picture your visual cortex lighting up. When you feel your sense of self change, picture your parietal lobes lighting up. When you feel your thoughts changing and your actions change, picture the left prefrontal cortex lighting up, and that will really get you to gain a relationship with what is going on in your brain. That just, it works for me because I love just really knowing where everything is happening and it's a fact, it's science. It's not just what someone is saying and you're just gonna believe. It's something that's been proven and that is real and I love that. So please let me know in the comments below if you like that concept. If you like the concept that you can see where in the brain things are happening and you can kind of imagine them and know that they're really happening. Please let me know in the comments below if that is helpful to you. And if you are interested in checking out another neuroscience video of mine, I will post in the description my video on how we feel pleasure in our brains. I plan to make so many more videos on this. Neuroscience is my passion. I actually went to Cornell University and majored in biology with a concentration in neuroscience. And I truly believe that neuroscience is the key and is what I want to be doing in the world. I want to be teaching neuroscience in a self-help perspective or teaching self-help through a neuroscience perspective. Because when my dad had committed suicide, neuroscience is what got me through it. I learned that our brains are plastic and that you can go from being depressed to happy and that's really what got me through. So I want to share that value with all of you here on YouTube. So you should be expecting to see a lot more neuroscience from me in the upcoming videos. Possibly every video will have something related to neuroscience in it. So I hope you want to join me for that journey. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe if you want to see more, and share this video if it was helpful to you to anyone who you think could benefit from it. Thank you. Bye.